Happy Halloween Eve my spooky friends. Hope you like last night's story. Tonight's story is called Halloween Night. Tomorrow's story is going to be the last story for Halloween. Next month's story is called The Killer Turkey. So let's tonight's story begins. Halloween Night Halloween Night is a horror story about four young girls who have an encounter with a creepy man on their way home from a Halloween party. On Halloween night in 2002, four young girls were walking down a lonely street, when they passed by an old church. Standing outside was a man dressed in a clown costume. He asked the girls if they had seen his puppy. When they said that they hadn't seen it, the man asked them to help him find the lost dog. The girls agreed to help in the search and the man in the clown costume led them into the old church. As soon as they went through the door, the man locked up behind him, trapping them in the old building. The girls realized that they had been tricked, but it was too late. They tried to flee, but he was too fast for them. The man tied the girls up and kept them in the old church for hours. He did unspeakable things to them and their screams echoed off the marbled walls, the wooden rafters and the ornate ceiling. After he had his fun, the poor unfortunate girls thought he would let them go. But they were wrong. He killed them one by one and then escaped into the night. People who saw the clo walking down the street didn't think anything of it, because it was Halloween night and many people were wearing costumes. If only they had known that his clown costume was red because it was covered in blood. The next morning, the local priest was surprised to find the church doors were unlocked. He went inside and, in the darkness, he heard a mysterious dripping sound. As he walked down the aisle, he saw a pool of blood lying on the altar. He quickly turned on all the lights in the church and gasped in horror at the terrifying sight that met his eyes. The dripping sound was coming from the headless bodies of four young girls that were hanging upside down from the rafters. Their blood was dripping down from the bloody stumps of their necks and forming a pool on the altar. But worse was yet to come. The girls' bodies were buried in the small cemetery behind the church. Just a few weeks later, their parents received four mysterious packages in the mail. When their parents unwrapped the packages and opened the boxes, they recoiled in horror. The boxes contained the severed heads of their dead daughters. Some people say that if you visit that old church on Halloween night, you will see the ghosts of the four young girls standing on the altar. According to the legend, you can still hear their screams echoing in the darkness. To this day, the man who murdered the girls has never been found. So, if a man ever comes up to you and asks you to help him find his lost puppy. The End That was a great story. Hope everyone have a great Halloween Eve. So subscribe. Like. Comment. Share. Love you guys. Bye bye. Oh. New story tomorrow night. Happy Halloween everyone.